Hi everyone, in this video we will see that what are the different things which we need in order to set up our testing lab. So the first thing which we need is Centigo operating system. So Centigo operating system is one of the best operating system used for mobile forensics, mobile malware and mobile security. And the main thing is that Centigo operating system is an open source operating system and it's a Linux based. So you can download Centigo operating system from here from their official URL that is centigo-linux.com. Then the next thing which we need is VirtualBox. So what is VirtualBox? So VirtualBox is one of the best software used for virtualization and we can use VirtualBox in Windows, Linux as well as Mac. So we need this VirtualBox in order to install Centigo operating system inside it. So you can download VirtualBox from here from their official URL that is virtualbox.org. Then the last thing which we need is Genymotion. So what is Genymotion? So Genymotion is one of the fastest Android emulator which we will use in order to run our Android operating system. So you can download Genymotion from here from their official URL that is genymotion.com. So once we have downloaded all these three things then we will start testing our Android application. Now let's see how we can set up our testing lab in our system. Now let's set up our testing lab. So the first thing which you have to download and install is VirtualBox. So you can download VirtualBox from here from their official website that is virtualbox.org and depending upon your operating system that whether you want to install VirtualBox on Linux, Windows and Mac here are all the links. So I already have VirtualBox installed and it's up and running on my system so you can see here. So this is how the VirtualBox manager looks like. So the next thing which we need is Centico operating system. So you can download Centico operating system image from here from their official website that is centico-linux.com and as I told you earlier that this Centico operating system is one of the best operating system for mobile forensics, mobile malware and mobile security. So you can download Centico operating system from here. So I already have an image of Centico operating system. Now let's install Centico operating system inside VirtualBox. So let me open VirtualBox. So this is how VirtualBox manager looks like and if you want to create any new virtual machine you have to click over here on new and here you can specify a name. So let me just write here Android testing demo. So here you can select a type. So Centric operating system is a Linux based so that's why we have to select over here Linux. Click on next and here we have to give the memory. So let me give near about 2 gigs RAM click on next create next and here we have to give a size for our virtual machine so I recommend you to give at least 25 gigs because it's more than sufficient click on create and you will see here that a new virtual machine named as Android testing demo is created so let me click over this machine and let me click on start so when for the first time you will start this virtual machine, it will ask you to the location of Centigo image dot ISO file which you have downloaded from centigo linuxcom So you can see here that I have given the path of Centigo dot ISO file. So let me click on start and it will open a bootloader for me. So when for the first time you will open a Centigo operating system, there are various options that whether you want to run this operating system live or you want to install it. So we want to install the Centigo operating system. So let's go here to install and hit enter. And you will see here that a Centigo operating system is being started. So here you can select your language, click on continue, continue. So I recommend you to go with the by default option that is erase disk and install Centigo and even if you want to encrypt your entire Centigo operating system volume then you can select these options. But I recommend you to go with this erase disk and install Centigo and click on install now. So here you have to select your country so that your Santa operating system will be configured according to that time zone. So let me click on continue. So then you have to select a keyboard layout. So let me click on continue. And here you have to give the name for your Santa operating system. So let me just write here security and from here you can change a username also. Let me just give your spidey and here you can give your password so let me just give a by default password of Linux that is TWR tour 
and click on continue and it will start installing and here you can see that it has started copying the files and installing the operating system in VirtualBox. So I'm pausing this video and I'll resume the video once the installation process is going to be complete. So here you can see that the installation is complete and we have to restart this virtual machine in order to use it. So let me click over here, restart now. And it will restart the virtual machine. So here you can see that our Sentigo printing system is up and running. So let me write here my password and it will take us to the front page of the Sentigo printing system or the home screen. So this is how the Sentigo printing system looks like but so the thing to be noticed is that when for the first time after installation you will ins you will use the Santuco printing system and if you try to switch it to the full mode so let me go here and let me select full screen mode you will see here that it will not be able to switch to the full screen mode so the reason behind is that whenever we install any virtual machine or any operating system we have to install some VirtualBox guest edition tools so in order to enhance the performance of Santuco operating system we have to download and install VirtualBox guest edition tools so in order to download VirtualBox edition tools just click over here devices and click over here insert guest edition CD image so if I click over here so the next thing we have to do is we have we have to open the terminal so now let's open the terminal of Santuco printing system by control alt and T. So let me go to the root directory. So here you can see that right now we are inside the root. So let's go here to media. And here you can see a one directory named as VirtualBox edition. So let's just go here. And here you will find one shell script file that is autorun.sh so let me run this shell script file hit enter and here we have to write our password and here you can see that it's a VirtualBox guest edition installation and it will start installing some additional drivers which will help our Santuco operating system to behave well So you will see here that our VirtualBox guest edition tool is successfully installed. So now let's restart this Sentinel operating system. Click on reboot. So now here you can see that our Sentinel operating system is now being able to switch to full screen mode so you can see here that if I go here to view and click on full screen mode you can see here that our Santuco printing system is being switched to full screen mode so that's why installing VirtualBox guest edition tool is one of the important steps which one have to do while installing a new virtual machine so now the next thing we have to do is we have to download one of the fastest Android emulator which is Genymotion so you can download Genymotion from here from their official website that is genymotion.com so in order to download Genymotion the first thing you have to do is you have to create your account here so once you create your account just go here to this link genymotion.com slash download and here you will see a two links to install the Genymotion so by default Genymotion ships with VirtualBox so but we don't need any VirtualBox because we installed the VirtualBox earlier so in order to install Genymotion with a VirtualBox so just click over here and if you don't want to install Genymotion without VirtualBox so just click over here and that is near about 46 MB so I already have Genymotion installed and up and running on my system so let me take you there so here you can see the Genymotion icon so let me double click on it so the reason behind Genymotion is one of the fastest Android emulator is because 
Genymotion runs on the top of the virtual box so it takes some settings and configuration files from the virtual box and that's why Genymotion is able to make the Android emulator run faster. So when for the first time you will open the Genymotion, the first thing we have to do is we have to sign in. So we have to sign in with the same credentials which we have used at Genymotion.com. So let me click over here sign in. But if you want to use a Genymotion for a personal use, so click over here personal use. Accept the agreement. Click on accept. So here you can see the main menu of Genymotion. So the first thing we have to do is we have to add one Android emulator or Android image. So let me click over here on add. So here you can see a virtual device creation wizard is being started. So the first thing we have to do is we have to sign in. So we have to sign in with the same credentials. So let me sign in. Okay, so here you can see that in Genymotion there are different different Android ROM or the image are available depending upon the API level. Like you want to download Geni, you want to download Lollipop version of Android, you want to download Gingerbird. But I recommend you to please go with Android at least API 17 level. So just click over here and from here you can select a device model that what kind of device you want whether you want a Google Nexus 5, a Google Galaxy Nexus custom tab but I recommend you to go with a custom phone. So I have selected custom phone and API level is 17. So click on next and you will see here entire configuration of our virtual machine. So our virtual machine configuration is it's a custom phone name is Genymotion. So from here you can change the virtual box device name. So let me just write here Android testing machine and here is the entire configuration it's a screen size you can see the memory given that is 2 gigs number of CPUs and the disk so click on next and it will start downloading the image of that virtual machine so you can see here that it is it's downloading some Android files so we have to wait for a time being now it start deploying the virtual device So the virtual device has been created successfully. Click on finish and you will see here that a device named as Android testing machine is created. And if you want to change its setting, you can by clicking over here. And now let me just click over here, start. And you can see here that it's starting the virtual device. And when for the first time we will start a new virtual machine, it will take a little bit time. So we have to be patient. So you can see here that our Android device is started. So you can see here its menu. It's same like the Android device which we use. So on the right hand side you can see all the options. Like here is the battery, here is a GPS, camera. You can see here the same Android device which we use. So these are the things which we need in order to set up our testing lab. So in this video we have covered that what is Genymotion and what is Sentuk operating system and we have installed Genymotion as well as Sentuk operating system in order to test various Android applications. So thanks for watching this video.